23rd overall pick, the Detroit Lions will take who? The best three technique in the draft this season, Malcolm Brown, defensive tackle out of Texas. I'll, I'll let Pete Futek do his Roger Goodell impression. I've kind of <laughs> had that in my mind, but I'll leave that to Pete. He does great impersonations. But um, for me, with where Detroit is with their defensive front this season, uh -huh. it makes perfect sense for them to take Malcolm Brown because of where they are defensively. They added Haloti Nata, of right. course, in the offseason, but they've lost Nick Fairley. They've lost Ndamukong Sue. And for them on the defensive side of the football, still being a 4-3, they work in a little bit of hybrid there going into some 3 4 Fronts. And I think even if Terrell Austin, their defensive coordinator, ends up using the 3 4 more so, Malcolm Brown's the caliber of athlete where he's got that explosive ability to get upfield, but he's great with situations where he has to match step offensive linemen. And so if they had to turn him into a five technique, he's got the ability to do that as well. And so with him still being on the board at the 23rd pick and with the lack of depth they have on the interior in Detroit, I think he would make perfect sense. So you're kind of approaching this as adding a strength to a strength as opposed to reaching out and maybe filling another void. I think the Detroit Lions need a wide receiver to try and supplement Calvin, uh, Calvin Johnson. I think they need a running back because they're a little weak at that position. Offensive line, there's other holes. For a team who was number two in their division, made the playoffs, they still have a surprising amount of holes. But I think here, this high in the draft, it's a great value for that pick where you can still get a great offensive lineman later. You can most certainly get wide receivers and running backs in this particular draft in the second, third, and later rounds as well.